Mm-hmm. How do you spell that? J E S S I E. Okay, how long have you been a Lake girl? This is going to hopefully be my third season. So I've been on the team for two years previously. What's it mean to, uh, for you to be a Lake girl? For me, it means everything. Since I was really young, I have had this huge passion for dance and a huge passion for Lakers. So being able to combine those two is just everything. It reminds me of my family. It reminds me of my passion. And I couldn't be happier to be a part of an organization. So every year that you've had to come out, is it a challenge? Are you as nervous as the first time? I think every year people think that it gets easier and easier. That might be for some people, but for me, it actually gets like harder each year because I feel like I've kind of been lucky this many years. So like. You just have to hold on for now. So, you know, I'm confident. I practice, but there's always a little bit of nerves. What's it like uh, being a Lake girl, being on the floor, and being uh, probably the top dance team in the NBA? I don't, I don't really know if there's a way to describe what it's like to be a Lake girl and dance out on the floor, but it's a happy place for me, and it's amazing to see the energy of our crowd. The Lakers have the best fans no matter what's going on. Our stadium is always packed. Always felt always high energy, and I don't know many other organizations that can say that. Are you? Do you learn any, every something different when you come for uh, each year for a tryout? Yeah, I think each year you learn something different. The first year, you know, you're focusing on a certain thing, and then you kind of overcome that. And your second year, you have your mindset pieces helped us think about what we need to fix that year. And then next year, you know, there's even more. So there's always room for improvement and always room for looking at new things. And what's it like to be, you guys have to be perfect on the floor. It, is this something that you guys think about or you don't think about consciously? You know in the back of your mind that you have to be perfect on the floor, but I think we've all, you know, been trained that we can do it perfect. We have the tools, we have the resources, we just need to go out there and do it. And so today, are you just as nervous today as you were the first time you tried out? Yeah, I think I'm more nervous this time than the other time around than the first time. Why, why is that? Because you know what you have to lose. Like, these girls are my family. There's people in the organization that I see at community events, different parts of the company that I see, and I would be sad if I didn't get to see them anymore. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Of course. Thank you. Thanks.